you guys could make it today. I'm excited to talk to you about some of the fun invitation trends that we have coming up. There's some really exciting kind of different things that um, have just come out this year that just always looking for new and innovative ideas as far as invitations go. It Really, the sky's the limit. It used to be, you know, you did a photo style or you made your own and now, there, you know, you, you're well aware that at anything goes. So I'm just going to quickly go through some invitations and then we'll talk about favors and place cards and, and things like that. Um, one of my new favorites that um, Envelopments is the supplier that I um, work with the most. They just provide the pieces and then everything we do is custom. Um, we have a full deck of just wonderful papers that our clients come in and sit down and we just choose what goes with their, their event the best and then um, build something usually based on those papers that they choose. So um, I always encourage my clients to bring some inspiration with them when they come to meet with me. So whether it be a picture of their bouquet or whatever is kind of driving their their design and theme for their wedding, it makes it, it kind of gives me an idea of what they're going for and it helps me um, kind of set the tone for the whole event with the invitation. I think it really if you do a fabulous invitation, people want to come and be there. So this is just a fun save the date. It's called a twist card. So when you open it, it twists. You can do that with, they have different sizes. So you can do larger ones that can incorporate a picture on the back. So you can actually do your announcement on the front and then have, your, have it open up to your picture. It's kind of just a fun little concept. Um, I'm sure all of you have seen the pocket fold style invitations which became really popular a couple years ago. Um, so with the economy, people are trying to figure out ways to still have a fabulous invitation and maybe incorporate some of those elements, but sometimes can't afford to do this whole, this whole thing. So one of the ideas that we've come up with is um, it's just the pocket on the back of the invite. So it's kind of a fun, so this is the back <laughs> with the inserts. So you can still incorporate inserts, but it cuts your cost you know, probably like 75 cents to a dollar an invitation just by eliminating those extra folds. And it's a little more modern. I think it kind of goes, I mean, this would actually be considered like a vintage style invitation, but the feel with the pocket and, you know, it gives, it's, it kind of incorporates both elements, I think. Um, another thing that I have noticed and have really um, been doing a lot with my clients is envelopes. We if, you, if they do a flat invitation, I always encourage them to jazz up the envelope. Do something a little extra as far as the envelope goes because when you get that in the mail, you want to open it. You want, you know, it sets it apart from all the, the rest of the mail. It has some interest to it. Um, a couple, about a year and a half ago, we did a big carnival wedding and the, the band wrap has become really popular and you can kind of customize that to match any style of invitation, but it adds that extra something when they see it in the in the mail. Um, I will. The other trend I wanted to touch on is, uh, along with the economy and trying to to find ways to cut back a little bit, we have done a lot this last year where we've done a f more formal, fancier invitation for the guests who are coming to the ceremony and the wedding dinner or rehearsal dinner that need some extra inserts. We'll do a full pocket for something like that, and then for the rest of the guests we'll do a flat invitation that is reminiscent of what their pocket fold invitation is, but it's significantly less expensive. So that would be like an announcement that could go to everyone or it could invite everyone to um, the reception, but if they're not invited to all the other pieces of the, of the wedding, that gives them kind of a, a cheaper, less expensive option. And then this would be kind of like a middle of the road option where it's got the picture, it's still a fold out, opens up, but it's, you know, going to be just a little bit less, but it's still fabulous. Um, let's talk really quick about favors. That's the fun, I think, the funnest part of the wedding. It's kind of that little finishing touch. If you get to it, it's everyone's excited to see um, those extra <laughs> little things on their table. So food is usually the driving force behind favors. I always ask my clients, what's your favorite treat? Um, and then sometimes we'll do a little card next to their dessert table or their favor station that will say, from Love the Bride and Groom, and it will say what that 
why that treat is significant to them or something from their first date or whatever, just to kind of tie that into, um, have it be more personal, kind of bring it back to personal. Um, this is one of my most favorite things in the world, apple pie caramel apples. And <laughs> so we do these actually a lot. They're so fun and they stack up really nice and they're just yummy and people can take them home and wait a few days to eat them if they want. But this has been a really, really popular favor and super fun to just add a lot of color and a really, really yummy treat. Um, sometimes we use favors to incorporate the place card. So for example, these soda bottles, we just draped um, a little ribbon over it with their place card with the person's name. Then you can set those at each plate and they get to take their soda home or incorporate that into the food. They can drink it there, but it gives them a treat as well. And really you can do that with any of these favors, add a tag that would have their name and incorporate that as a place card. I've noticed a trend in, in clients doing more of a sit down dinner and then just sending out announcements to everyone else, keeping it smaller. And so when you're doing something like that, you can usually afford to add something to each plate. And that really can dress up a table, add some color without having to add to the florals or, or things like that. You can, you can add a pop of color really quickly with a simple favor. Just for instance, this favor kind of matches what you guys have going on. If you put that right there on the plate, it just kind of brightens it a little bit and adds just an extra element. So we kind of went with the whole lemon theme here, <laughs> pink lemonade. Um, that's going to tip over. So it, on a more modern feel, um, this invitation, we did a timeline. This is also a trend that I've been seeing, um, or I, we've been doing quite a bit of, where <clears throat> just with pictures and, and a timeline, it, it adds, it's just kind of so people know what to expect. And that's fun um, for your guests to be able to know what the plan is for the night, but everyone's always asking me, how do I say there's dinner and dancing and you know to come and stay the whole evening? And this is a good way to let them know that it's, a, it's an all night event. We want you to stay and celebrate and, and have a good time. So that's kind of a fun um, take on the modern feel. Um, last but not least, these fun boxes <laughs> are just fabulous for kids. We're always wondering what do we do with the kids at the wedding? They're bored, they don't love sitting there watching you know, everyone shake hands. So um, we came up with the idea of doing a gift box for the kids. Inside, we always coordinate everything, but we put a coloring book, activity book, some crayons, um, love to personalize them with their name we usually put a bubble wand, which they can use as the bride and groom go away or just for fun, just to play and have fun. And then a treat, usually like a little toy or something. So kind of keeps them entertained. I've seen these in action. They work great. Just gives the kids something to do and to keep themselves going. Um, <clears throat> another way to kind of keep to add something without adding a ton of cost, I like to do a theme. So we usually choose something um, when we're starting designing the invitations, whether it's the seal that goes on the outside of the invite or like in this instance, a graphic that we're carrying through the whole time, continue the same fonts through. Um, that way it gives you a, a chance to kind of add a repetitive element that people can expect. You know, they come to the wedding, they see that same thing and it, it quickly adds some like expense to the feel of the wedding, but it, but it's not necessarily expensive. Um, does anyone have any questions or anything, anything that I can answer for you about invitations or favors? No questions? I'm Ramey, R-A-M-E-Y, with details by Ramey. And all my information is in your press kit, so if you have any questions, feel free to call or email me. Well, thank you so much.